Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back. I'm back uh, with a reaction for the 100 season 7 episode 11. This is called uh, Etheria. Uh, I've been looking forward for this all week, so we're just gonna just jump right into it and see where we're at, where we go. I knew he wasn't dead. I mean, they didn't make a big deal about it, so I kind of figured he wasn't going to be dead. Did you? There would have been a lot more emotion about it. Sorry. Oh, it's good that he is he's still alive. All right, so let's see what's going on here. That's right. Who's that guy? It's operational. A little glitchy, but it's working. And I'm going to bed. So he get away and he's not dead. That that's good. You sure you're up for this? I'm fine, Jonah. Because I'm not. Is it true no one's being punished? Not even for killing Anders. I don't think it's been determined. But it's safe to assume given they control the key. You know what I heard? I heard the shepherd gave them his quarters. The key, Jonah. Once the last war begins, none of this will matter. Who cares about his damn quarters? You're right. The subject is ready for Neuralink. He shows symptoms of post-traumatic stress from the explosion in the stone room. For all mankind. For all mankind. To us, it's like just like a random guy that didn't do his job or whatever, so they're trying to find get some information out of his head. I don't know who this guy is. Let's begin, shall we? You're in a vast desert. There's an insect buzzing in your ear. Oh, it's okay. I can't let you die to save me. Jump there. That was fast. Oh, so the explosion kind of pushed him to the anomaly, so it's probably why he ended up on Etheria, clearly. What's that? Somebody behind him? Who's that? <laughs> so, so she's fighting some random guy in a white outfit who was probably, you know, sent there from Bardone, maybe? I don't know. Not gonna ask who the guy is. I'm just gonna leave him there. That's kind of strange. Some guy attacks you and he's laying next to you now. He's disabled. Why don't you ask him who he is or what he's doing there? <clears throat> There's gotta be some other way of getting around instead of just that one one spot. Oh, there he is. And so now we went back to try to talk to him. Instead of just talking to him to begin with, I was kind of dressed like that guy Andy's. I was like, it's a very similar outfit. So I'm not to come from this from the same place. It's gonna hurt really bad. Yeah. 
Oh, oh man, that looks like it's painful. I just started to hurt. Should be blowing soon. If you pull through, I a guy named Pike to thank. Among other things, he taught us that oozing sap from pine trees on Earth can make antiseptics, fight infection, heal wounds. Let's hope the same goes for the trees on this planet. So he didn't even know he's gonna try to sit the, the words from this tree and just stick it on his leg and hope for the best. Irony can be funny. This is not one of those times. It's funny how much his character changes from season one to now. Definitely a big difference. He's not gonna help him. He's gonna let him leave him if then that if he Dolly Bean's gonna let him go. He's, he's gonna not let him he's not gonna help him. I can't imagine him helping him. He's gonna leave him there. But Bellamy will figure out a way to get it get through. Be careful. He actually helped him. Wow, well, I was actually did gonna help him. I was surprised. I thought he was gonna leave him there. Rations now. For sure, I'm not gonna waste them searching for a windbreak. The shepherd's patience should be our example. The snow will stop once we clear the clouds. Uh, the trees are getting thinner. It's only getting steeper. If you keep going up, you're going to die. Well, at least. I won't have to hear about the shepherd anymore. Hmm, that's a good point. Once again, the other guy ended up being right, he, he's gonna have to go back and find him. He's gonna have to take shelter with him. I just figured the guy's he's gonna just make it more arrogant. It should have been like you should have listened to me and taken shelter. Oh, yeah. Hmm. It's probably good, of course you didn't know. I feel like I owe you money in life or whatever. What is that? <laughs> Looks like you're some kind of alien or fairy or something. <laughs> it is, I don't know what that is. You get the guy's point, like he should love all all mankind, but he, at the same time, he's, he's crazy for believing in Bill the prophet or the, the savior or whatever. He's gonna help them do whatever, but everything he wants to do is because of a war. 
Oh, that's gross, isn't it? A scorpion? Ugh. Hopefully... What is going on? Something happened. What is going on here? Unless he's... He's, a, he's already a cult leader, but maybe... Have you? But maybe... These things. Maybe he happened to run into these, these beings on this planet by accident and he's not so much a cult leader, but... Better. He's just crazy about war Faith or whatever. You've come far, Bellamy. Your eyes are opening. But there's still so much more to see. This should be interesting. Oh. What? She's supposed to be dead, so how is she here? So what the heck just happened? So the snow just stopped? The first time he chose to pray, the storm broke. This whole thing is really weird. Like, what else? And then the shepherd guy appears, and then his mom appears. Like, I don't understand. So, now, like, what are they gonna, Are they gonna involve themselves to climb up to the top of the mountain now using, using a rope? And I'm very curious what's gonna happen if they manage to, to reach the top of this mountain with the green glowing light is. Like, what is that? I'm telling you, he's gonna slip and fall. before the rope breaks. Maybe he's like just about there and it snaps and doesn't make it. Uh oh. Oh, you're talking about close, man. I, I thought the rope was gonna snap. He's gonna get, take a long fall. Well, it's one of those little, those devices. Oh my God! You're supposed to jump and hope that that you, that you don't die. So what's he gonna do? Is he gonna, is he gonna jump or is he just gonna stay there? He's gonna do something because he can't just stay there and freeze to death. It's 
So then back on Bardone. Welcome back, Bellamy. Of course he's waiting for him. Now where's everybody else? I, I didn't... Wow. So he suddenly believes in this nonsense. Faces. We saw you die. It's hard to keep the blades down. Hmm. Oh, this clock. He's now pledges allegiance to him or whatever. He's probably going to tell him that she doesn't have it. Shepard. Uh oh. There's something you should know. Clark doesn't have the key. The flame is destroyed. Wow. I'm sorry. Talking about it totally late, like, like screwing over your friends well, because of one little mission. <laughs> is coming up next on the CW. You've lost yourself, Bellamy. This isn't you. They all hate me. Wait, Bellamy, what are you doing? What I have to do. There's so much more to stay here than you know. The Hundred, new episode next Wednesday at 8, 7 central, only on CW. Well, that was an interesting uh, episode. Um, I, I, Bellamy is such a strong little character I can't believe that he would suddenly just switch like that and completely be brainwashed by this guy just because of what happened on the mountain um, and completely screw over his friends like they're still his friends he's been with them longer and they, they did all they've had all this stuff that's going on with them you know all the experience and, and being together on the ring and earth or everything so I, I to to pledge your allegiance to this one guy of something that happened on the mountain I don't know it seems I can't believe they would do this to the character hopefully that you know in the next episode they're able to get him to realize he needs to stop and, and but it doesn't look good for the if I, the remaining characters were especially for Clark uh, I don't know we're gonna have to see what happens next week this is a, this is, episode was okay um, it's a little slow of course it's because it's mostly surrounds Bellamy and this other guy on, on the mountain and Finding the you know the light whatever it, it wasn't an overly exciting episode but it was it was good at least it explains where he was and now he's back so you, now you know that he's not dead I'm um, definitely going to tune in next week to check out another video for the 100 for the next episode I'm looking forward to it I, um, it's going to be a week so can't come soon enough see what happens next I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys like this video have any thoughts or comments put them on down below and as always hit that like and subscribe till next time.